the Mo Money taxes still don't have their re tax refunds, and a loophole in the law is the problem. Turns out it may have something to do with how they filed. Ten of your sides, Ann McNamara is back from D.C., where she spoke to an IRS employee. So, what is the holdup? Well, at this point, many Mo Money customers have basically given up on ever getting their check from the tax preparer, and it turns out if they file direct deposit, the government can't get their money back. Whether they knew it or not, customers of Mo Money Taxes agreed to have their tax refunds deposited into Mo Money bank accounts. Mo Money was supposed to take its cut of fees out of their checks and give back what was left. But hundreds got nothing at all. Customers like Michael Robinson, who took his concerns to the IRS. I was in shock because I know I haven't received nothing. And she asked me, did I receive a check or anything? I was like, not one brown penny. At a hearing Thursday, Robinson testified in front of IRS officials. Some were surprised to hear Mo Money refunds went through a chain of banks and processors. It's not clear who's watching these kinds of financial institutions. That's what I was interested in the description of that scheme, was that falling into some of those cracks. And there's another crack that became apparent, the fact that the IRS can't help direct deposit victims get their money back. The thing is that under the law, if someone steals your paper check and forges your signature on the back and cashes it, the government has a way to reimburse you and Congress has created a fund to reimburse you out of. But the way the law is written, it only talks about paper checks. It hasn't gotten into the 20th century, much less the 21st century. The Mo Money story exposed that loophole. Congressmen at the hearing say changes must be made immediately to protect victims like Robinson. I was encouraged. I think something's going to actually happen and get done. Most of these customers qualified to have their taxes done for free, but they didn't even know it. Congressmen at the hearing say the IRS needs to do a better job publicizing its assistance programs.